Uh, Desi, how old are you? Desi, how old are you? 49. 49. And, you know, one of the things your dad uh, and I talked about recently was making sure that we have sports uh, for you as you continue to, to, to go on here. Um, how long have you been in Special Olympics? 41. 41 years. So you started right when you could, started at age eight. That is awesome. And what sports have you done in the time in those 41 years? Swimming. Well, and bike. Bike. Swimming and cycling. So yes. Yes. And one of the one of the great accomplishments uh, in the history of Special Olympics, from my perspective, is that I like to share is you you do the butterfly, right, Desi? Yes. And that's a hard stroke, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and you you swam for a lot of years, where you you actually got disqualified in your races, didn't you? Five years. Five years. So five summer games, five years of competing. Every time you went in the pool, as hard as you tried, the judges said you weren't doing the stroke and you kept doing it, right? Yes. Yes. And then finally in that in that sixth year, you did it. Yes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and do you remember what, what medal you got in that race? Oh, that's awesome. And, and so I think that is one of the greatest uh, examples of perseverance and the spirit of Special Olympics. And I am so proud that I had an opportunity to witness that. You got to go to the USA Games in 2014 and compete in cycling. Do you remember yes. that? Yes. China. Oh, and China. And China. China. How about that? I left China out. World Games, even bigger than USA Games. How about that? Yes. All right. So I'm going to turn to Rick. Rick, you're super plunging. And can you just tell us about um, what it means to you to be able to super plunge, even though it's virtual this year, and connect with Desi and the super plunge team? Uh, it's, that's terrific stuff, Jim. And just being associated with the athletes and the super plunge, it just... Uh, it's indescribable how much joy, pleasure, inspiration that that brings to your heart, to your head, just your entire psyche. So being around it, I've been around it now, I think 11 years uh, in a more formal capacity as a volunteer and in different roles and as a super plunger. And it just, I mean, saying it makes your day is not enough. It makes your, it makes your life worthwhile. And it's because of the power of the mission. So you see what this mission does and how it enhances lives of not just the athletes, but their families and their communities. And the super plunge embodies that, it really does. It's this crazy, remarkable dedication to this 24 hour event uh, that just is overpowering and overwhelming. And it's why it's infectious, if you will. And the athletes make that, they really do. So for me, directly with Desi, uh, you know, we've had this bond ever since I started being the announcer there. And of course I knew Desi before that, but uh, it was it was our thing to do the last plunge together. And we would talk about it throughout the 24 hours. And it, to me, it just became the highlight of the entire event. So this year going virtual, uh, you know, I was waiting to see what the right role was for me and I was going to help any way I could. And even if it was just raising money or donating money, I mean, just, I know that's an important thing to do. But when I got uh, the contact and the suggestion and request, I guess, to partner with Desi, I mean, that's not even two seconds of thought to say yes to that. With Desi, I mean, with any athlete, of course, but with Desi, this was just the most special honor for me to be able to partner with you, Desi, to be your teammate. And it's it just makes life worthwhile to be involved with this. And Doug, I you know, I throw it at you as a as a parent and somebody who's been involved as a parent and as a volunteer, the law enforcement torch run, just for everybody's knowledge, Doug has been a longtime uh, supporter and volunteer in our law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics. Dating back to 1986, Law Enforcement Torch Run has raised over $55 million to support 
our athletes, all of whom participate free of charge. And we talk about building interactive, inclusive communities of dignity and respect. And again, there's no greater example than that than law enforcement and how they embrace our athletes. Doug, what has it meant to you to be involved with law enforcement and see how law enforcement embraces our athletes, including Debbie? It's the, the first year that I heard of the law enforcement torch run and actually participated in a run. Uh, that was very, very early in Desi's Special Olympics career. And it was just like you know, my two worlds coming together. Uh, the, you know, the, the Special Olympics, uh, watching Desi's uh, competing uh, in the training and then seeing the police officers, the folks, my other family, uh, get involved and really get behind it from the very beginning, whether it was just running or selling shirts or at the award stand. Uh, you know, when, when you talk about the impacts, not just on athletes, but on families and the friends and coaches, uh, it ain't just talk, it ain't just rhetoric. It's, it's, there's so many families uh, in the state of Maryland and the United States throughout the world uh, that have just been kept together uh, because of the inclusion, because of the way uh, that Special Olympics has, uh, has put everything together for us. People who have not been, who have not walked a mile in their shoes, if you will, who have not experienced that, that they get to experience uh, life through the lens, through the, if you will, through the lens of a Special Olympics athlete, that they get to see the world their way and join hand in hand with them. And as you mentioned, that, that last plunge is so symbolic that hand in hand with Desi, we're experiencing that feeling and that time. Desi, what would you like to see uh, that maybe we haven't done here? What would you like to, for us, for, what would you like to see over the next 50 years? We, we asked her the question and I, I'm gonna help her with her, with her answer. because 100%. Does it say, I, I still, still compete, compete for, for 50, 50 more, more years? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. That, I, you know what? Here, you know, Desi, that is just awesome. Desi, put your arms up for me. Desi, yeah. Desi, 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 Desi. Oh, come on. There you go. That would be awesome.